Hello my soccer universe. Very quickly the midweek action from Sierra. We had a cup final which maybe will have an impact on the top four race. We gotta see about that. And we also had a very decisive Serie A game and I said I'm gonna do this before the Premier League because I had already the jerseys up and just had to reshuffle a little bit. Yeah, Cagliari is back. My wrath is gone because I'm wearing Juventus. A second Juventus jersey would have come in very handy and that's maybe a goal for the next season that I have at least from the top teams. Two jerseys each which meaning I need one for Inter, I need one for Atalanta, I need one for Lazio and I need one for Juventus. Then I think I'm very well settled for the upcoming season. Uh, I don't want to go chronologically, I actually want to go um, the cup final first. Juventus win it. It is Ronaldo's first Coppa Italia title because uh, in his first season they got eliminated by Atalanta and in the second season they lost the final to Napoli. So uh, Ronaldo ends another year with Juventus with a title and Juventus keep the title uh, winning streak alive so they will add to their jersey uh, at least a cocarda which is the second thing I have to say I really in principle like those Juve jerseys the new ones a lot but the sponsor is just ugly as uh, the the Jeep would be fine but then this 4XE get rid of, get rid, rid of it it really really doesn't look well um, but that is the only thing that didn't look well for Juve uh, because I have to say where did this come from where was this all season I don't get it. I mean, uh, Atalanta, I think the first half was really super intense. And this is what I was hoping, I, I told you. I'm all about the Milan making the Champions League. And all I needed is a naked Atalanta team. And maybe uh, if it goes, it helps with Juve as well. And overtime and penalty shooters. And then a super intense game going back and forth. Well, I got this in the first half. Uh, where I actually thought Juve uh, were holding their own. But overall, I think Atalanta was uh, the slightly better team. Um, be more dangerous, but you could already see that Juve is up for a fight and were, and were not afraid to go into the press or play past at, at the last press. This was really Juve very well prepared for this game. And they actually took the lead when Ronaldo um, ran a uh, tour to the box, kind of loses the ball, comes to uh, McKenny, who played, played out to Kulusevski in the 31st minute. It's 1 0 Juve. Uh, I don't want to say against the run of play, but still a little, a little bit uh, surprising because I thought that Atalanta had more and better chances. However, Atalanta collected themselves, came right back and um, just 10, 10, 10 minutes later, Malinowski almost from a penalty spot, taking a shot. Uh, even if they were defenders, he had a, he was free and he could place it well. It was 1-1 one, one. and I thought, yeah, we have a really good final at our hands. However, I don't know what happened in the halftime. I really don't know because Atalanta did not show up again. Or was it Juve just really taking all the wind out of Atalanta's uh, sails? Is Pirlo finally able to realize his vision for uh, Juventus that he put in his thesis, his fabled thesis? I think it's the, the best, the most talked thesis uh, in the world. Is <laughs> Pirlo's how I want my teams to play because everything that is uh, happened. And they had good chances. They hit the, uh, the post once. Uh, and then uh, Kulusevski, who probably was the player of the game, uh, assists Chiesa, who with a nice shot puts it in. And then there was no chance for Atalanta. I was ac actually waiting. Uh, late come, 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 come on, overtime, overtime. We need overtime. It was never coming. Juventus really played this in Juventus style. I mean, killed it off. Literally killed it off. The only one that I want to point, point out that, that had not did not kill it off was Ronaldo. When uh, in stoppage time, he there was a chance he decided to not go on goal and dribbles out to the corner flag and doesn't even give the player a fight who can easily collect it from him and go it down. This, uh, this was made a no-do for me. I was hoping, yeah, please let um, Atalanta score. It's going to let Enrique else goal to Ronaldo for, uh, you know, being too afraid that his feet will get a few bruises. No, uh, Juventus deservedly won this game and this cup. And yeah, yeah it, that was impressive. And I think that that win over Inter and now over Atalanta, they beat the first and the second place team 
uh, within a week, kind of a big bounce back, and maybe Juve, uh, Juve will look positive towards. They just need to win now at Bologna to get in there. Um, final thing, I think the first title that uh, Buffon ever won uh, was with Enrico Chiesa. Federico's uh, father and now with his uh, still with Parma I think it was also Coppa Italia and now uh, he won a Coppa Italia with the son that says a lot about the longevity it is a parting gift you want to say either it's a Gigi's parting gift for Juventus or the other way around since this was his last game played what a game uh, to play this way and of course um, saving the season and he has um, not lost a game with Juventus this season so maybe he should have played a little bit more but he signed up as a second string goalkeeper rather impressive let's talk about the makeup game from round 25 which happened already in Tuesday between Lazio and Torino it ended nil nil however that's only half the story because uh, Torino hung on to that I think Immobile twice hit the um, the woodwork uh, is most cru cru crucially with a late penalty. Uh, yeah, he, uh, with a late penalty, the 84th minute, where uh, he just puts it wide. And when I saw that, I mean, I didn't watch the game. When when, when I saw that, I really thought that for, for, for a second, yeah, he played for Torino. Maybe he tried to miss it or whatever. Do not put Torino down because it wasn't really not up to uh, La Lazio. But when I see his reaction, the way he played, no, he really wanted to score that one. He really wanted to score that one. And so, yeah, uh, Torino barely hang on to the draw, but that draw was crucial because now if we look at the table, they are saved. There is no way Benevento can catch them, although they have the head-to-head. -head. And, um, yeah, it is very, the only thing, to, there are two things to play for. Uh, this is the final Champions League spot. Um, between uh, Milan, Napoli and Juve, one of them will go into the Europa League and as you see the chances, it is very much stacked against Milan's favours, although them holding the head-to-head -head over Napoli and over Juve. But the way the fixture are going, Milan have to play at Atalanta and this is where I really hate that Atalanta now lost this one, because now they will want to show, now we don't want to finish the season on a loss. After, if they would have won the Coco Capitalia, nothing that they had. And also, I hear that if you finish uh, second in CSR, you get, of course, a little bit more money than if you finish fourth, which you probably would if you lose out. So, uh, you really, Milan really got to fight for that. Napoli has to play at home to Verona, and Juve has to play away to Bologna. Uh, the only thing that I've, that no, the Italian teams, it used to be that they mail it in, they're not mailing it in anymore. Um, most teams are actually fighting and uh, that is a uh, development that I find rather curious in Italy. Uh, so yeah, as I said, by chances Milan will miss out. I checked the numbers, now I read the simulation. Milan and Juve on expected, and this is expected uh, points, are just, I think, by the third decimal they're apart. So uh, they're basically level. Milan has the higher ceiling because if they win they actually could go up into second place but you see already in the shading that it's more likely they end up in fourth and that is what hurts me it's really uh, uh, more Milan in uh, in fifth not in fourth and Juve but uh, of course the uh, because they could go a little bit higher that's why uh, maybe the higher points total I'm not very optimistic. On the bottom, every, every, everything's done. Here are the final uh, fi fixtures. It's all Sunday, 8.45. It will be dramatic. I'm pretty sure about that. I just don't see that there's a good end. And I forgot about it. Um, the, the other thing that is to play for is the, the conference league spot where Sassuolo is two points behind Roma. But you see here the fixture list. Sassuolo play Lazio and Spezia is a team that Roma never had a good game against uh, this season where they do crazy, crazy stuff so I could well imagine Lazio kind of falling over and I just said that they're not mailing it in in this case I actually could see it um, to farewell to Parma is actually against uh, the Sampdoria where the fans have a good relationship with so uh, at least something I really hope that Parma comes back and speaking of which I just want to for end this video, um, say who is coming up. We already know that um, Empoli is coming up. 
uh, from uh, Serie B. We also have Salernitana uh, would be coming up to Serie A, but there is still uh, they're owned by Lotito, who also owns Lazio, and you cannot have two uh, teams from the same. Uh, <laughs> with the same owner up uh, up there, so Salernitana is not quite yet con con confirmed. There needs to be some shuffling happening. I'm sure it will. And then uh, it is a playoff where we have the semifinals. I mean, Monza and Lecce uh, are the third and fourth place teams. They have now uh, home games in the playoffs against Venezia and Cittadella. I so much would love for Venezia come in because then my wonderful Venezia jersey would also double up as from a collection jersey, but also as a channel. Jersey. Okay, let me know what you thought about the actions uh, in Italy uh, during the midweek and how you think uh, the cup final will influence the fight for the top four. As I said, I'm not very op optimistic, but let's see. In any way, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get an update whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, wish you a wonderful day. Bye!